Sometimes, someplace I did someone wrong Now I'm suffering with the blues the blue Scott Belk and the Jazz Ensemble, thank you so much. Mary Ellen Tanner. Thank you. This is my grandson took me off and now he brought me back. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. I'll tell you, that macular degeneration, a tough little thing there to be bothered with. But anyway, I'll have to bear with it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue now. Uh, you know, I've been lucky enough to uh, have an, a new contract, actually not really a contract, uh, but uh, at the age of 75, when I was, got to be 75, I was thinking about retiring, and why not? 75 is good enough. I mean, it's not bad at all. But anyway, uh, a guy came to me, a drummer, that uh, played with the Jazz Crusaders. His name was Sticks Hooper, and he was working for a company called Mac Avenue Records. So he says, Gerald, uh, you know what? I'd like to get your band recorded. And I'd heard that before at that time. But, uh, you know, nothing ever happened. But this time, it actually happened. He came, he said, okay, they gave me the okay to, to record your band. So uh, that's how I got on Mac Avenue Records. Since I've been on Mac Avenue Records, I have made five albums for them, one album a year, five years. So uh, it's so nice over there, they treat you so good. And uh, the lady that owns the company, uh, so kind and nice about everything. I just uh, I wanted to do something to thank her other than say thank you. And you know, I wanted to really do something and hope that uh, she would appreciate it. And I decided to write a number and dedicate it to her. Her name is, uh, what's her name? Let me see. Uh, Ms. Uh, what, what's her name? What's her name? Like oh, yes. Her name is uh, Miss Gretchen Favre. Gretchen, yeah. So I wrote this number for her and said, I hope she wouldn't mind me writing a number for her. And so I called it Miss Gretchen. And uh, we're going to get into Miss Gretchen right now. <laughs> 